What is going on, guys? Paul Ryan back at it again, of course, with the late night vibes tonight. Um, I'm going to keep it brief. I don't know how I missed this yesterday, but Dak and Jerry having a bit of a uh, interesting exchange, if you will. Dak kind of talking saucy, almost, saying that he hasn't paid attention to what Jerry says in the media for a long, long time. And I'm, I ain't going to lie to you, man. I'm not mad at what Dak said. I don't find it disrespectful at all because we know that jury is a storyteller he's a pot stirrer he's uh you know he's someone who says interesting things weird things just you know that's it's uncle jerry right that that's one of his many nicknames uh, aliases if you want to call it that where he's been known to just say some say some kind of almost off the wall type things but Back to what Dak said, you know, I'm not mad about what Dak said. You think about all the scrutiny he's experienced, all the criticism just from being the, the Cowboys quarterback. And then, you know, sometimes your owner not supporting you uh, in front of the media and things like that. So I I can understand Dak now. You know, I, I like that he was honest and open. Um, you know, we're so used to Dak being an acclimate professional really buttoned up kind of, I don't want to say generic answers, but always saying the right things, maybe not saying what he really wants to say. One again, wanting to be professional. So I like that Dak said that I like that. He's uh, I don't know. He might be just straight up fed up with, with this front office and can we blame him? I mean, I can't, uh, but in regards to the contract seasons, literally one week away, I know CD lamb just got signed. I don't think Dak's going to get signed. I was listening to a one of five, three, the fan, as I always do. And I was listening to Chris Arnold for those of you, I don't know how many of you are familiar with him, but he's has close ties to the Cowboys for years and to uh, the Mavericks and things like that. But he was just saying how it makes no sense for Dak Prescott to sign a, sign a deal now or in the off season at all, because he has all the leverage and there's going to be what he was saying. He thinks there's, 16 teams that would be willing to overpay for his services. I don't disagree with that. I, I mean, I can think of a couple off the top of my head, but he was talking about even uh, a, a team that he brought out that I found interesting was the New York Jets. That was the team I hadn't thought about. We don't know how much longer Aaron Rodgers is going to be playing, but to think about Dak in a uh, Jets uniform, that kind of makes sense. That's an interesting division uh, with Josh Allen to attack by low, and then, of course, Dak, and then, now Drake May, um, you know, I could see him winning that division with the Jets, with the way that they're built in that defense and everything. But uh, I thought that was an interesting team. But, yeah, I uh, have to agree with Chris Arnold, though. There's no reason for Dak to sign a contract now. Um, Cowboys have made a massive mistake. Oh, yes, and I, I was listening again to the fan, and Brian Broaddus was talking about Jerry. And he was saying how Jerry could potentially be fed up with – all these contracts coming at once and the salary cap people uh, not handling this better, not spreading up these contracts in a way to where they can get these done without having to pay so much all at one time. I think that makes sense too. Um, I don't know how much, how much truth there is to it. I don't think he heard that from a source or not. I think he was just kind of uh, saying a, a, a what if scenario, if you will. So, I found that interesting for sure. But um, yeah, that's all I've got for you guys tonight. I hope everybody's having a good night. I'm Paul Ryan. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.